Well, you or someone you know may need blood one day. One donation can save up to three people. Local students did their part to give the gift of life today. Haiti Clotter has that in this week's Community Spotlight. It wasn't a typical school day for students at Bemidji High School. A blood drive was held on campus on this blue bus that was a donation center. Basically, there is no substitute for human blood. So somebody who needs blood gets it from somebody else to help them stay alive. Every two seconds, someone in the United States needs blood. Inside this bus, donors are trying to help save lives. Each person has about 10 pints of blood inside their body. The donations equal about one pint. Since 2003, the JROTC class has partnered up with Memorial Blood Center for this annual blood drive. This year, they're expecting 50 donors. When you think about it, it, it could be you on that operating table sitting there. You need the blood and then having somebody who donated that blood being able to give you that blood. Most donors were done in 15 minutes. Each sample goes to the lab for a series of tests, 15 to be exact. Samples are tested for West Nile virus, Lyme disease and the Zika virus. Results are returned within 24 hours. Is that your type? As part of the recovery process, students receive snacks and beverages. Many of the first time donors were a little nervous at first, but they felt good afterward. Uh, no, I wasn't really nervous or scared. I was more excited to try it out and see how I was. I was nervous at first because, I don't know, it's scary, you know, you get needles in your arms and stuff, but it was fine. It was fun. Donors had to be at least 16 years old and have their parents consent. Many say they will donate again. I think everyone who can should do it, and it's, you know, helping people, and it's just a good thing to do. This is something to be thankful for. Skip. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.